course you do. I'm gonna take you guys to Marquez's office, behind the scenes of the Mustang show. Walk with me. Now this is where we record all the stuff. Let's see, we'll check it out. Hey, what the hell are you guys doing what? here? You guys can't record! What? What I said mean? no! What no, god damn! Welcome back to the Mustang Show. Sorry about the technical difficulties. I'm Santi. And I'm Jonathan Solis. Up first, we have some events for you guys. Let's take a look at some footage from our homecoming day. Let's start the show. Thanks guys, this is Christian Reyes coming to you live from homecoming, reporting for the Mustang Show. Well, we're actually not live. We recorded this a few weeks ago. The homecoming event has come and gone, but here's what happened. Take a look. Guys, I'm here at the Blood Drive covering the story for the Mustang Show. I'll be your tour guide, Jonathan Sleeves, as we take our adventure through the Blood Works. This year, we donated our Mustang blood to the St. John's Health Center. Altogether, the SHS community collected over 50 pints of red blood. I conducted some interviews of those who donated blood to get their perspective on their experience. Miguel Romero showed us that he's not afraid of needles. I asked him why he shared his blood. Um, obviously to help other people, it's, um, it's a really good, um, it's really good to help somebody else. So Miguel, you're not afraid of needles, but do you know where your blood is going? Whether it's going to people in need of it, or going to the vampires in the back of the Twilight movie? Uh, it gets sent, it gets sent to another person who needs the blood. So I interviewed Hector Guzman and I asked him, how do you get to be in the blood team and skip class? Well, you know, I'm part of NHS, National Honor Society, and I'm here to help out. Well, I only see about three or five people here. How many people came to donate some blood? Um, I say about somewhere around 30 kids, 30 different students, so it's turning out pretty good this year. In the end, it was a huge success, thanks for the efforts of everybody. Next time they return, we hope that everybody will participate. Reporting from the Blood Drive, back to you. It's good to know people in the school are helping save lives. Yes, and I am one of them. I even have a little dot right here to prove it. 
Did you faint? No, I did not, Santiago, because I am a man. Wow. Well, now we have some clips from the cross country team. Take it away, Reyes. Pick apart the things we did, we know we could do better. Get it together and let's do this. Let's figure this out and let's not let this happen again. Thank you, Reyes, for getting some of those interesting shots. And I even see you got a shot of a chore. Chaw! Meh! Now for a question from our viewers. The question is, why did you guys change shirts? Oh, sorry about our outfit. Ms. Lardis came in and made us wear a school uniform. So sad. So what's next on the show, John? Well, next on the show, I have a review on Call of Duty Black Ops. So how is it? Oh, it's awesome. I have a few problems, though, but you're going to have to watch my review in order to find out. Well, let's check it out. I'm Jonathan Sleese, and today we got the review of Call of Duty Black Ops, the most anticipated game of the season. I stood out for two weeks in the rain. John, it wasn't even raining. Even so, no one cares about that. I stood out for two weeks to get this game. My parents weren't happy about waiting for me to get the game, but I got it, and that's what matters. I started playing it, and now here's my review. Parental discretion is advised. Call of Duty Black Ops is based on a soldier who is strapped to a chair and is being interrogated by an unknown person. They knew we were coming. That bastard Dragovich. The Russian. You hear a quick speech from him every time, and you start playing what happened in the past, and you try to figure out what you did. There's the airfield. Let's hope Carlos secured that evac. He ain't let us down yet. The story is interesting, it can get pretty difficult at certain points, it can get even tougher at other points because your AIs don't seem to help you a lot and can leave enemies behind and you as well. Other than that, the story mode is pretty awesome. He and us are not so different. We are all soldiers without an arm, betrayed, forgot, abandoned in Vakutu. Given up hope of ever getting out. But Victor Reznor found a way. This is an awesome game. My final verdict 
is that everybody should get this game. Even if you're not into the story mode, you should at least get it from the multiplayer because it's fun and fascinating. My rating for this game is a 5 out of 5. Remember, you need your parents' permission in order to play this game, so get them. Okay, back to you in the studio. Oh my god, John, you are horrible at that game. But Santi, that was a recording of you playing. Oh. Anyways, we have some footage of the academic rally for you. Time for the smart people to finally get recognized. Thank you, John. Not you. Me.